In my experience, about 85% of the uh, surgeries that I've done with the robot have been hysterectomies. Uh, about 10% or so are what are called myomectomies. Uh, many times women have benign growths in their uterus called uterine fibroids. Um, that cause them problems with severe pain, heavy bleeding, difficulty having a normal pregnancy, for example, and they are not ready to have a hysterectomy. So consequently, the robot has just revolutionized uh, doing myomectomies because by and large, they were typically done uh, with a big open incision because once the fibroid's removed from the uterus, you've got a hole where it was and that then has to be closed and suturing with the robot is dramatically easier to do than with traditional laparoscopy uh, because the instruments of the robot have a wrist and move just like the surgeon's hands do as compared with laparoscopic instruments which are just straight and, and can only open and close and, and rotate. It's really exceeded my expectations. Um, I think that increasingly we're going to see that more and more women have surgery this way because the recovery is so much quicker and they can be more confident in knowing when they'll be able to return to work in normal activities. In my experience, that's usually about two to three weeks, uh, really to get back to full activities. This is a big health issue because approximately one out of three women in their lifetime end up having a hysterectomy, and that translates to about 600,000 hysterectomies performed in the United States each year. The Da Vinci robot was originally FDA approved only for um, prostate surgery back in 1999, and then in 2005 it was approved for gynecologic operations like hysterectomies. And then in the last year, uh, the technology has advanced so that we can now do hysterectomies with only one single abdominal incision. And the things that had to change were instruments that were able to be flexible and sort of crisscross going through the same incision that the scope does, but now through a two and a half centimeter, which is basically an inch, incision that quite typically can be completely hidden within a woman's umbilicus or belly button. Um, we're now doing hysterectomies that way. Uh, I've now done more of those procedures than anybody in New England. Um, and as I'm seeing patients coming back for their post-op visits, it, it's just remarkable how, first of all, how really you can't even see the incision and second, how, how great the patients are feeling and how surprised they are at how great they're feeling.